Initiate Vigilante Mode. Welcome. This is a segment that I call Spotlight. I call it Spotlight because it's not a review exactly. It's more of a editorial. Today's Spotlight is of particular importance to me because it is about the film Nerve, which was released this week. It stars Emma Roberts, Dave Franco. I had the privilege of being involved with the film and I'm gonna take you through sort of like the journey of that. It's part of the reason why I'm not going to do a review for it because it's sort of a conflict of interest if I were to review a movie I'm in. That doesn't mean that I have a huge part of this movie, in fact it's really really tiny. There are no small parts, there are only small actors. And what I was able to do in the film uh, was a great opportunity to work with some really talented filmmakers and actors as well. But I'm gonna show you some really cool pictures that I took on the set. I'm gonna talk about like taking pictures on set a little bit later as well. But let's get into it. I have agents, but um, you know, sometimes the work is really slow and coming and you wait around and you sit on your butt and you're just waiting for the next job. I have sort of taken it upon myself to like kind of move out of that like mentality as an actor. Now, everybody has their diff their own way of of finding employment while they're not acting, that tests the actor's sort of ability to be creative and resourceful as well, which is really important. Some people work as waiters or do administrative jobs. I went more down this path of education. And I was working at a full-time job uh, in a teacher capacity at a school at the time that I was sort of like scouted for the movie. I had gone to a few open casting calls for just background work. But the first uh, background job that I did was The Amazing Spider-Man 2. Here's a picture of me on set. That's me behind Sally Field, which was really cool. Sometime later, I got an email from a casting company. Uh, they basically told me that they're looking for, you know, young high school looking people I'm not in high school everybody we're looking for like kind of like my look so they asked for a bunch of pictures they told me some of the parameters of the production I sent in my pictures uh, thanks to Jamila Humphrey thank you very much for that uh, the directors apparently handpicked the photos of this group of, of young men that they wanted to be in like sort of this clique of football jocks I know I really look like a football jock so I was off to work it's the football scene if you've seen the movie it's sort of opens up the movie it's like in the first act you can basically see me in the locker room doing like the chant like the let's go cougars and you can also see me uh, running out I tossed the football to JP I did kind of like fight to get that place because it's just like something extra and my personal policy for doing like background work at this point after having done a lot of it is I'm not really gonna do it if I don't really have like some FaceTime assured that's just me because he spent a lot of time on set and the background does a lot of work. Let's be real, they don't really get that much appreciation for the work that they do. You know, they're in hot or freezing holding rooms, you know, they're, they're, you're trying to stave off boredom, and then you're on set standing around for hours. It, it can be a little bit, like, you know, frustrating. Not, not that I'm complaining, I mean, I enjoy doing the work. You can see me coming out uh, with the football, and then I'm in that sort of, uh, you know, wide shot of the football team, and we all kind of have our reaction to Emily Mead, um, you know, completing her dare. Uh, on the Nerve app. Then you can see me a little bit, uh, I think maybe like two or three scenes later in a pizza shop. Uh, we got a lot of free pizza that day and uh, you know th that was an interesting thing to, to shoot and to be in there with like you know the actors. Unfortunately, which is just really kind of a bummer, and I had to leave um, you know the production. I couldn't work on it anymore because my job at the time you know, they wouldn't let me have any more days off. I would have been in that party sequence towards the end, which I was very excited to shoot, and it was just like a real, yeah. Do I quit my job just to do that, or do I stay on? It was also like the last two months of working at my job, so like it could have been worth it to quit, but I just, you know, I don't like to like back out on people like when I have obligations. So I just kind of had to say, you know, hopefully there will be more work in the future. Hopefully that good karma comes back to me. I don't know. Whenever you're working with people creatively, you definitely bond with people. And that's, I think, one of my favorite aspects of, like, you know, the arts. Even though we're there for, like, a short amount of time, 
you do get very close to people. Shout outs to Ed Squires, you know, congratulations man. There's Brian Sen, he plays JP in the movie. He actually could relate because he also worked as a paraprofessional at his at a school. He, he understood the dilemma. And then Brandon Elia, uh, another like big comic book guy. We definitely bonded, talked comics, and it was great to, to chit chat with him. Uh, and there were a lot of other people, and I'm sorry if I'm forgetting you. It was really cool to get to know everybody, and it meant a lot to me. Just keep in mind when you go on set, basically against the policy to take photos, it's more of a policy of don't you know, distribute them upon social media. That's the thing that can really get you in trouble. You see the celebrities and stuff take pictures on set, so it's not like illegal or anything like that, but you definitely don't want them out there on the internet. So I definitely respected that, I always do. On to the directors of the film. So the film is directed by Henry Joost and Ariel Shulman. Something that has really inspired me further to direct and kind of like not only think of myself as an actor is working with people like that. And Ariel, I connected with him a little bit more than Henry. I actually didn't interact with Henry at all. I'm sure he's a nice guy. He seemed like he was really cool. We just didn't really cross paths. If you're not asked to do something, you might not want to really inject yourself, but if you have an idea, um, you know, that's, that's usable or you feel like it's a really good idea, then you can definitely like present that. And I did with um, Ariel. At one point, Brandon and I, we had an idea where we were sitting in the diner and we're sort of in the background. And uh, when I looked at the movie, we're not even in focus. Nonetheless, there was this moment where we like both like look at Emma and something that's going on at a table over there. And uh, we, we did this sort of like, kind of like double take thing. It was used, but it was just like wasn't in focus. Nonetheless, it was still an idea that was brought to the table and that was respected by the directors. I really did like Ariel's style of directing. There were a few moments where just like during takes or in between takes, we were like just on the street corner outside of the diner. And I was just talking to him about, you know, directing and how to get into directing. He basically just told me that, like, out of NYU, he just started making shorts and directing wedding videos and just basically doing any kind of video-based work where he could edit. And he said that the editing was a big part of it for him. And it was just a, a, a matter of him getting the experience and comfort to then uh, translate that into, like, more feature film making. That's something that you know, like I take, I really took to heart. I met Vin Diesel once, he also gave me a lot of good advice about writing. Danny Glover gave me advice about not only thinking of myself as an actor, and that actually kind of like snapped in my mind, oh, maybe I could like apply my skills in acting to teaching. There's other ways to explore your artistry than just this sort of narrow view. That's really the creation of vigilante mode is part of what I learned from Ariel. To boot, like several months later, I am in like Union Square and Ariel walks by. Crazy, right? And I just said, hey, Ariel. And he stopped and he was like, hey, you look familiar. And we started chatting and, and he remembered me and I asked him, like, you know, did I make it into the movie? And he said, yeah, yeah. Oh, what a nice experience. It's not really like my genre of choice, like kind of like high school um, drama stuff. I really liked the movie. I thought it was really well done. Like, I thought their camera work was incredible. They got some really dynamic shots and it really worked for like the tone of the movie. I thought they got some really great performances out of their actors. You know, Emma Roberts, this is probably the best thing I've seen her in. I haven't really seen that much of her work, but I thought she really gave a very like from the heart, earnest performance and didn't really overact. And I thought she had some really funny moments too. And I was impressed. Dave Franco, I thought this was really good for him because he kind of, he's kind of, he kind of got out of the, the comedy um, note, leading man, sort of rugged, tough guy. And the supporting cast was great as well. Like I said, my friend uh, Ed and Brian, they did a great job in their roles. And Emily Mead uh, did a really great job as well. Now, Emily actually, um, now she plays his best friend in the movie. She and I went to the same high school. Now, I didn't know her when I went there. She was like two grades below me. I never really interacted with her, but she did look oddly familiar. The world is kind of small. This was just a wonderful experience. It was really cool to watch uh, Emma Roberts, you know, do her thing. She was working her, her ass off. The only exchange that she and I had was when I, I overheard that she had a headache and uh, I saw her drinking coffee and I just was kind of like, that's probably gonna make your headache a little worse. So I just, you know, she was walking by and I just said, hey, are you okay? She was like, who's talking to me? That was me. She said, oh yeah, I'm fine.
But no, she seems like a real sweet person, and uh, you know, I, I want to congratulate her and everybody and the whole team on the film. It came out wonderful, and I'm really proud of it. I'm really proud to have been a part of it. It is a really exciting time for me, and uh, you know, I appreciate all the support once again from everybody out there. Uh, and I hope you can continue to do so. One last thing, my review for Jason Bourne is going to be a little bit delayed because I, I'm feeling just a little run down. It's going to need like a little bit of time, so that'll be up soon. Did you see Nerve? Did you like it? Did you appreciate it? Did you see me in it? Or do you need a microscope to, to find me in there? Uh, let me know. Um, comment below. As always, please like, share, and subscribe to Vigilante Boat Reviews. Until next time, guys. Visualize mode deactivate.